नमस्कार बच्चों सो आई एम हेयर विद यू वंस अगेन वंस अगेन आई एम देयर विद वन इंटरेस्टिंग एक्टिविटी एज आई टोल्ड यू जस्ट यूटिलाइज द टाइम इन अ कंस्ट्रक्टिव वे वी शुड लर्न ऑल्सो समथिंग एंड वी शुड डू समथिंग इंटरेस्टिंग ऑल्सो सो द नेम ऑफ द इंटरेस्टिंग एक्टिविटी इज treasure from the earth now children treasure you must be thinking mam ma is going to tell something about gold diamonds you know jewelry and so many pearls but yes it is also a a treasure but uh, why we are calling it treasure when you will uh, just uh, go through this activity then you will get to know in a better way so let me introduce you and i'm just going to share with you um uh, this ppt hmm? just to uh, develop better understanding right so last time also i showed you one ppt and uh, now here i'm just showing you yes so i hope all of you can see my uh, presentation and just let me take it to the um, you know slide slide show so that it is little bolder now the name of the activity is treasure from the earth and that is petroleum so it is also known as black gold why we are saying is black gold let me explain you so now let us understand what are the uses of petroleum hmm? when you will come to know its uses definitely uh, you will think yes ma'am it is really gold black gold it is so useful just now see on the screen petroleum products like petrol kerosene diesel they can be used as a fuel for the vehicles just think about it if there is no petrol or diesel how we will travel how the things will reach to us so transport is so important so that means if they will not be there so we will just go back in our primitive days hmm? so that is why we are just calling it black gold there are so many other uses also just see here there are clothes and there are some clothes which are very expensive or very delicate just we are uh, mama is your mother must be giving sending them for the dry cleaning so for dry cleaning clothes petroleum products are needed hmm? next petroleum products are used to make plastic and paints so here is the plastic you can see in our nowadays plastic is in use so much so many things we make uh, using plastics hmm? and there are paints these paints which we are just using to just white wash uh, and to you know paint so many vehicles or you know so many your grills everywhere or doors these paints they all are made up of petroleum products there are so many other uh, you know uses of petroleum products but i have discussed with you only these so now you can say ma'am yes you are right it is really black gold hmm? it is justified to say it now comes what is uh, what petroleum is what is petroleum you know petroleum is also called as crude oil crude oil means kachcha tel you must have heard this word many times while you know uh, listening news at the television so crude oil is a dark liquid it is found in reservoirs deep under the ground you know if you are going very deep inside in earth crust you know just going then it is uh, uh, in the reservoirs देर आर बहुत सारे तेल के कच्चे तेल के कुएं होते हैं कुआ वर्ड इसके लिए यूज किया जा सकता है सो यू कैन सी नाउ चिल्ड्रन लेट एस नो अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द पेट्रोलियम सो हिस्ट्री ऑफ द पेट्रोलियम वंस अगेन सी एट सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड 
uh, its texture it, it is very thick and it is found in many colors based on its constituents ki kis cheez se milkar bana hai sometimes it is greenish it may be yellowish it may be brownish it may be reddish in color it is blackish grayish so it all depends how it formed fine right? what are the constituents kin se milkar bana hai तो आपकी मम्मी भी घर में सब्जी बनाती है ना सब्जी में थोड़ा सा मसाला बदल दो तो सब्जी का कलर बदल जाता है ना इसी तरीके से इन द सेम वे द कलर ऑफ द पेट्रोलियम आल्सो गेट्स चेंज्ड सो नाउ नेक्स्ट स्लाइड शोज हाउ वाज क्रूड ऑयल और द पेट्रोलियम फॉर्म्ड नाउ चिल्ड्रन द अर्थ सरफेस मिलियंस ऑफ इयर्स अगो वॉज कवर्ड विद मोर वॉटर देन वॉट इट डस टूडे लॉट ऑफ वॉटर वॉज देयर and i'm talking about millions of years ago now and living in this water were billions of tiny plants and animals hmm? then what happened when these plants and animals died they just fell to the ocean floor and just piled up piled up means if suppose you are putting clothes at one place and uh, uh, more clothes there more clothes then there is a pile of clothes so similarly pile of uh, you know uh, dead animals was there on the ocean floor then what happened sand from the eroding rocks and mud covered them up you know eroding so rocks rocks are very you know solid and strong but with the help of our uh, natural forces like force of the wind force of the water and uh, uh you do know, heat due to the heat so they expand sometimes shrink due to all these uh, you know uh, factors the rocks there there are cracks in the rocks and they start just breaking into smaller pieces sometimes you know uh, it it becomes so fine that uh, at that time we say it uh, it's silt or uh, you know clay so uh, but uh, the making of soil or mud it is not one day task it, it it takes a lot of years i know millions of years so sand from the eroding rocks and mud just cover them up all the you know um, animals they just remained covered by rocks and mud then what happened over millions of years the remains of these animals and plants remained covered under the layers of the sand silt and rock you know remains means all the bones of the animals and you know all so many layers just keep on accumulating over one layer one layer then there is another layer and then another so there is a pile of layers over the remains of the animals so then what happened now there is lot of pressure of the layers of the soil from the above and inside the earth it's so hot so due to the very enormous heat from inside the earth so due to enormous heat and pressure these all bones means all the remains of the animals they turned into what we call crude oil or petroleum petroleum ban gaye wahi the remains of the you know all the animals then once the oil is formed it slowly moves up through the pores in the rock or then what happens but in some places but however in some cases rocks without any pores leaves oil trapped underground where there was no space uh, for the oil to just reach on the ground it remained trapped under the ground and when people realized the importance and use of the petroleum efforts were made to bring it out from there any useful thing we we cannot leave it like that agar koi useful cheez hai to bhai usko use mein to lana hi hai na we have to use it so humne kaha ki nahi bhai ab hum oil ko nikal kar laate hain bahar so to get the oil an oil company must first drill down to it to pehle niche khudai ki jati hai drilling ki jati hai hmm? so you can see oil is under the beneath the layers and here uh you know the rigs are set up it will be clear in the next slide a rig is set up to support the drill whatever we are you know these are well when we are just going 
डीप डाउन एंड ड्रिलिंग 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 सो ये जो वेल्स होते हैं दीज आर कॉल्ड ऑयल वेल्स सो देन वेल इज ड्रिल्ड इन टू द ग्राउंड अंटिल द ऑयल इज रीच्ड जब तक हमें ऑयल नहीं मिलता हम जाते जाते हैं अंदर अब आप बोलोगे मैम वॉट इज रिक रिग इज सेटअप सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट इज रिक अ रिक अ स्ट्रक्चर अब एन ऑयल ऑयल वेल ऑन लैंड और इन द सी दैट इज स्पेशल इक्विपमेंट अटैच टू इट फॉर ड्रिलिंग एंड रिमूविंग ऑयल फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर दैट in this way uh, the uh, well is also dug and the petrol is also taken out and it it is stored in this kind of containers and then it is sent to the places where needed ha huh? then we use it in different ways i hope the things are very clear to you now somewhere uh, if the oil field is in the sea you know so in some places the oil fields are under the sea then offshore rigs are used you know this kind of rigs you must have uh, heard about bombay high and near the mumbai there is a oil well and now you will say ma'am how to locate a oil well oil field or oil where in, uh, means in all over the earth there is not oil har jagah thodi oil hai so uh, you know there are you know our scientist they they just try to find out how to locate with the help of satellites first it is uh, decided that in which place the oil is located so in india the oil uh, in the mumbai high uh, at that place there is a uh, you know oil field is located there and but it is under the sea so this kind of setup is arranged there this is a offshore rig so here all the arrangements are like that that you are drilling also and then you are taking out oil also and then it is sent to the different places sometimes um by filling in the containers and sometimes you know through the pipelines are also used and wherever um required they do according to that right so now comes now it is time to do some task we have uh, just come to know the story of petroleum what is petroleum how it formed so we know about it so now there are some questions based on your mathematical skills so how much petrol or diesel can be filled at a time in a scooter car and a bus you have to complete this table if you will do this task then you will develop the quantity sense you will you will develop which units we are using it hmm? how far they go in 1 liter petrol or diesel so that is mileage or you can say average you must have heard this word from your father what did the average of car is this hmm? whenever you we try to buy a car or a scooter we just think what is the average of the car or what is the average of the scooter means in 1 liter petrol or diesel how far it will go Hmm? if it is covering more distance in 1 liter petrol that means it it will be economical for us hmm? so how far does it go in 1 liter or uh, petrol or diesel now amount spent to cover 150 km in suppose you have to go to 150 km distance a place which is 150 km away from your house and if you are going by scooter then how much you will spend but keeping one thing in mind that the rate of the petrol is 90 rupees per liter and you know children the rate of the petrol every day it changes hmm? and it changes and it is different in uh, different states of india also means in haryana the rate is different and in delhi the rate is different so i have specified here so just take that petrol the rate of petrol is rupees 90 per liter per means 1 liter ka cost 90 rupees hai so now if you have to go to 150 km how much uh, it will cost isn't it interesting yes so let us move to the next task this task is based on your uh, science and sst like there is a need to use petrol and diesel judiciously you must have heard many times why if you will connect it with the story which i just told you you can give your answer very easily try to write ha huh? now which is the alternate use to power vehicles and machineries these days as you just uh, after listening the story you just came to know that it took hundred of you know millions of years to uh, you know uh, just to form the petroleum so 
if we are just keep on taking it out taking out and then what will happen our generations will not get so all over the world you know scientists they are trying to use different alternate uh, you know sources of energy so nowadays there is a alternate fuel which is a fuel which every country is trying to use just trying to find out its name uh, name and try to find out how it is isi kaise banaya jata how do we make it hmm? so try to this is little bit research uh, work for you so name few products which are extracted from petroleum again this is a research work for you petroleum is a you know crude oil kachcha tel isme se bahut sari cheeze you know main ek example deti hu like wax i told you diesel i told you petrol hmm? so there are so many other things also which can be extracted from it so try to find out and there is uh, some questions based on sst like name the top 5 uh, oil producing countries in the world you know their economy is based on oil only and in our country which states of india oil fields are found hmm? so this way your definitely your knowledge will increase and uh, and knowledge is power <laughs> fine so now this is a third task which is based on your language skills try and you can you know art also try to make a poster showing eco friendly village with catchy slogan to save the environment i told you that when the petroleum products burn they emit a you know smoke and that smoke is very harmful for our environment so just keeping all these thing in your mind you have to make a poster and give it a slogan also i hope definitely you are going to uh, enjoy it and uh, definitely um, uh, you will learn also something very interesting so children uh, this way do it uh, do it the work in the notebook and uh, you can share the work to me in the google classroom also so i hope you all will do it with enthusiasm you know zeal should be there first of all your will should be there where there is a will there is a way no excuses maybe it will take little time but no problem it is not like that you have to do today you do and share the work with me in the google classroom so thank you and have a nice day bye bye